hello and welcome back to the channel uh we are uh fire and ice designs and uh today we are in my car because we are out in the world adventuring for things have you ever seen something on the internet and immediately when you see it you go i'm gonna need that well, that's what happened last Saturday when I watched Rachel make Maxie's video on uh, making a chicken wire ghost. So here we are at the hardware store getting ready to go in and invest in some chicken wire to see if we can make a ghost. That was crowded. Chicken wire was acquired and we got Donuts! Found a new shop and we're gonna give it a try. We'll let you know how they are. We are home. We have acquired donuts. We have eaten donuts. Google is useful sometimes. Just donuts near me happened upon a little hole in the wall place. Locally, like this family owned place by the looks of it. Holy frijoles, that's good stuff. They're called Baker's Dozen. We'll put a link to their Facebook page down below. Oh, they're so good. We'll definitely be going back there. All right, we have watched Rachel's video again, uh, and we are setting up in the garage. Daisy is here in the garage with us. We have a bit better idea of what we're doing. Yeah, we have a slightly better idea of what we're doing. We're trying to get slightly. the other camera set up. And uh, yeah, this is our garage. It's kind of a mess right now. There's a lot of things happening out here. I'm building a work table and, and other things, and there's furniture. Emma's desk that isn't in her room yet because she doesn't need it yet, and we haven't had a chance to move to the basement. We are going to take the chicken wire that's back there and Daisy and attempt to do a thing. Here we go. Lunch has been had and batteries are charged. Back to work. All right, so what are we doing here? I am adding the side panels onto the uh, bustle, uh, but the pieces are not, they were too wide and not long enough. So I've cut some off of the side at an angle and then I'm going to take that and put it on the bottom here and patch it in like I did on this side. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a seam here and a seam here where I have joined them so that it curves upward. Um, because piecing is period, even when you're <laughs> using chicken wire. Sure. <laughs> so we have some wispy hair. Um, Kind of, a, kind of a hat. I mean, feather is right there. 
we're, we're going off of this one a bit here, so it, it's that little bandana hoopty. We're going to put some feathers in there. Got the wonderful attempted hands, and thumbs, posable. <laughs> we can make her hold stuff. We can make her a bouquet. You have far greater faith in my hand construction than I do. I didn't say it had to be out of chicken wire. It can be fake flowers. I'm saying, this thumb ain't gonna hold much <laughs> except for a thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, I need to get a new battery for this camera. I think we lost the thumb. There's one right here. Oh, is that what that is? Maybe. Yeah, that's the thumb. Oh well. And they're close enough. To, maybe that's why she died. <laughs> Gangrene? Yeah. There she is. We're gonna let her dry and see if we can find a place to put her where we can take pictures that don't have cars in them. with her fancy feathered hat and her uh, massive bustle. It's real, real impressive. Uh, screaming into the void, as we all are in this year of plague 2021. Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy with the way she came out. I think she is going to look interesting in the dusk. Uh, it's not quite what I had in my head, but I didn't know what was in my head. So, what do you think, dear? The central column bit is interesting. I mean, it provides structure for her standing, and this started off as kind of a joke of making her into a, to a tomato plant. Yeah. So. So we might be growing a tomato inside of her next summer. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks good. I think the head is kind of small for the rest of the body. I agree on that. But Dress form and that's not really a scale mannequin head. No. The wig head is not to scale, but it's the only thing that we had other than forming it around one of our faces, which and was not going to work. No, that's very pointy and you're claustrophobic. Yeah. So... Double no. Given the materials we had to work with and that we did it in one day, I'm really happy with her. And again, most people are going to be seeing her in the dark. So, fine detail is not necessary. But I like her little hat, I like her hair. I'm really happy with like the way that the dress, the skirt part came out. Um, yeah, one day make for an afternoon and 30 bucks worth of chicken wire, which we didn't even use all of. So we could make her a male companion should we so desire. She will be gracing our yard in the back for now. We'll see what the wildlife does to her and then we'll put her in the front yard October 1st when we decorate the front of the house for Halloween. The inside of the house, that's probably gonna happen sooner. Cause it makes me happy. But 
uh, thanks for tuning in and watching us make a thing. Um, we will see you in two weeks. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this and you want to follow along with us, give this video a like, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave a comment down below what is your Halloween decorating tradition? Do you decorate September 1st? Do you wait until the night before and carve your pumpkins? What do you do for Halloween? And we will see you in two weeks. Bye guys!